Hello everybody, welcome to Glaze's Geezer Garage. This week we're back on the 64 Impala. We're going to uh, paint the rear end up. Terry, my buddy, had it rebuilt, uh, brought it back to me. We're gonna paint it up. We're gonna put the disc brake kit on the back of that. We're gonna finish the disc brake kit on the front. I painted up the uh, spindles and stuff on this. Not the actual spindles, but uh, part of the spindles. And we're gonna repaint the firewall. Didn't like the way it turned out because it was two different types of paint when I tried to touch it up. So. Let's get going. So you can see here, we got a little bit of exposed metal threads. I like to touch those up. A little bit of touch up paint down in the crack there where the powder coat guys didn't get it. And just a little bit on the dash where they had it taped off. Just gonna touch those up with a little spray bomb. And uh, get these new spindles for the disc brakes. Same thing on this side. I have both spindles taped up. I taped up all the stuff around it so I didn't mess up his powder coating. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the uh, ball, upper ball joint because it's not painted. I have the other side done also. What I wanna do now is clean up a few things around the heater box hole on the firewall and the steering cob hole because they need a little paint touch up there. We're out here today working on the 64 Impala. Uh, they got, as I said in the recent video, they got the rear and back. We painted it all up. Now I am working on the disc brake, rear disc brake kit. Some of the parts are coated, but, but the uh, calipers are not. So I took those apart, gonna paint those. Um, and I'm pretty sure the rotors are not painted, so I'm gonna paint the non-contact area of the rotors. Okay, we dry fitted the uh, caliper brackets, the calipers, put the rotors on. Now I'm cleaning the rotors to get them painted. Don't want these rusting when you got a nice set of spoked wheels on it. This side, everything's, these are all bolted up, ready to go. These are already coated, CAD, probably CAD plated, so I'm not gonna paint those. So yeah, it looks good coming together. You're gonna have a great set of brakes on this car, disc all the way around. We got the uh, rear end to the 64 all completed. I just finished painting the uh, the wheel flanges. We got the new uh, disc brake brackets hooked up. Touched up a couple other spots, but you can see it turned out real nice. Also got the rear rotors and calipers painted with high temp paint. See here. Turned out real nice. 
this one here. Got the little C-clamp here and covered up the piston and the rubber there. I did the same thing over there. As you can see, it's a real clean setup. Rotors are all painted. Everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and assemble the disc brakes on the back. We did the dry fit and then I painted everything. We're gonna go ahead and assemble the disc brakes while it's conveniently accessible. And then I have it on a little dolly and then I'm gonna roll it back there and uh, stick it in. So let's get going. disc brakes mounted both sides next I'm gonna put this rear back in looks pretty good Okay, yeah, we're here. I'm here with Terry. Terry, what are you doing under there? I'm, I'm not doing a thing right now. We're <laughs> done with this side. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we got this side done. There was a little trial and error, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do a time elapse on the other side. We'll slap that together. As you saw previously in the video, we did the rear end earlier with, with those disc brakes, so we're, we're getting this thing together. Let's move to the other side. taped off and covered up. I'm going to re-hit this firewall. I hit it the other day, but the paint was uh, high gloss and we want a satin finish on there. So we got everything taped off. We're going to paint from that tape line up. But I ran out of painter's tape, so I got to go get some more tape and tape this metal section off a little bit and then I'll be ready to shoot it. Got to pick up some bolts for the power steering. Right here, this is the Borgeson conversion. It's a nice, nice setup. I got one on my 56. So I got to run an air, so I'll be back. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the 64 Impala. Next week, we're going to get back on the uh, 63 split window. Uh, I'm going to glue the firewall on and the rockers. Don't really want to go much further than that because I want to get it on the roaster shop chassis. So, hey, thanks for joining. Remember, like, subscribe, and share the video. It really helps out. 
Our numbers are getting up there close to 500. We'd like to reach 500, our goal, so please subscribe. It really helps us out. It's free. What, where else can you get this kind of entertainment for free? Thanks for joining, guys. Appreciate it.